Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is day number four of Makeup Collection and Declutter Week. We are in the home stretch, and today it's probably going to be the hardest day of all. We're going to be tackling my lip product collection. And one might think that tomorrow when I do eyeshadow palettes that that would be worse, but honestly, I get very attached to my lip products and uh, I have a lot of them. So we're gonna be going through all the lip products in my collection today. There'll be plenty of swatching and deliberating as I try to decide what to keep and what to get rid of because honestly, I, I should not keep all of it. So if you're ready to see all my glosses and bullet lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and liners and more, we're about to get into it. Okay, so we're gonna kick things off today with my liquid lipstick collection because this by far is the type of lip product I have the most of, so I anticipate this is gonna take the longest to go through, and then everything else after this should be smooth sailing. So let's start out with my color lip liquid lipsticks. This is an indie brand that makes a really nice liquid lipstick formula. All of these shades are pretty, but I don't think I need to keep all four of them, so let's quickly give them a swatch. All right, so here are the four shades swatched. We have Boss Lady, Stunner, Focus On, and Nash Star. So I know personally I wear Stunner the most, because it's a little bit more of a warmer, dark nude color that looks a little more flattering on my skin tone. I think Nash Star is gonna be a little too vibrant for my liking. It's something that I would have to like mix with another liquid lipstick to get it to be the shade that I wanted. Although it could be nice for that purpose because I don't know that I have too many things in that shade. I think I probably will wear Focus on the least because this one is the most kind of cool toned, Boss Lady is pretty, but I think I'm going to find something more similar to that, most likely, elsewhere in my collection. So maybe I will declutter Boss Lady and focus on, and I will keep Stunner and Nash Star. Then next, we have these Girl Power Liquid Lipsticks from The Beauty Crop. Super cute packaging. This is a very matte formula, so honestly, I don't find myself reaching for these a whole ton. I have the shades Papaya Don't Peach and Girl Boss. I'm a boss. So to be perfectly honest, I probably could just declutter both of these. I'll see if I have another dark red because that's a shade that every once in a while I like to rock something vampy. So if I have something similar, I definitely don't need to keep this. Then I have these two liquid lipsticks from Persona that I absolutely love. I have the shade Holy Grail and the shade Phoenix. This was a summer launch. This is one of the most comfortable liquid lipstick formulas I've ever put on my mouth that is also super long wearing. And if I'm gonna wear a red liquid lipstick, like this is exactly the kind of formula that I want to wear, something that's not gonna make my lips look crusty, but that also is gonna stay in place and not like smear everywhere. So 100% keeping these. Then I have two Ofra liquid lipsticks here. I have the shade Havana Nights as well as, what is this shade, do you say? Ball Harbor. I know a lot of people really love the Ofra liquid lipstick formula, but for whatever reason, it's not my favorite. Maybe because it's not the most long wearing, but it also is not the most smudge proof. So for me, I kind of feel like it's just sort of like, meh, it's all right, but it's not like something I absolutely fall in love with. So I don't know, neither of these shades is like, 100% up my alley. Let me give them a quick swatch. If anything, I think I would be more likely to keep Havana Nights just because this is a more unique shade. And again, I know I got rid of that really dark vampy beauty crop shade. And I do think I like this formula better than the beauty crop one. I don't know how I feel about Ball Harbor though. I don't really wear those kind of like dark neutral nudes a ton. So for now, I think I'm going to hold on to Havana Nights. I'm going to put Ball Harbor aside as like a maybe, but I probably will declutter this. Then I have these four adorable melted matte mini liquid lipsticks from Too Faced. These were holiday 2018 launches, so they're over a year old now but I used them a bunch in November and December this year and they seem to still be fine and they're super, super cute. They smell delicious, they taste really good. So I think I'm gonna like hold on to these for a little while longer. Like while the weather is still chilly, I feel like these are colors I will reach for, but then like come spring and summer, I probably should just declutter these because I know they're gonna be kind of on the old side. And on that note, I do have a full-sized one as well. This is the Gingerbread Man liquid lipstick, and I did just pick this up this holiday season, so it is brand, brand new. And this is just a beautiful kind of rusty, orangey, pumpkin-y red shade. I love this kind of tone, and it smells delicious. Again, it smells like gingerbread, so 
I'm going to hold on to this guy. I've got two liquid lipsticks here from Flower Beauty. This is a really nice liquid lipstick formula. I don't know what's going on with Flower. I think they're now only available online at Ulta, and I think they pulled out of Walmart stores, so they're a little bit more difficult to get now, although you can still order them from the Flower website too. I hope they're not like disappearing because they make some really nice products and their lips especially are fantastic. So I have two shades here. I have Bare Honey and I have Soft Berry. I don't know though that I need to keep both of these because I feel like this Bare Honey shade I don't really wear all that often. It's kind of light. Soft Berry here is definitely more my speed. So hmm. even though I do like the formula, I think I probably can declutter this shade because I don't think I'm going to use it that much. And we'll hold on to this one. Next I have two shades of the L'Oreal. I think these are the what? The Rouge Signature Ink liquid lipsticks. This is a newer-ish launch from them. I have two shades. I've got I, what are you? I Achieve and I Amaze. They look very similar in the packaging. We should probably swatch them to see. I mean, I think they are actually very similar on the lips. One's just slightly brighter. So this is I Achieve, which is kind of a brighter, more vibrant orange. I really liked wearing that in the summer. And then I Amaze is like a deeper, rustier orange brown. So yeah, they definitely are very different colors, even though they kind of look more similar in the tube. This liquid lipstick formula is so nice. It's very thin and very lightweight and comfortable. However, it smells like baby wipes, which drives me absolutely nuts. I don't know why L'Oreal like does that. I don't know why they can't make their lip products just smell like food since it's something you're putting on your mouth. But anyway, because I do really like this formula and I do really like these colors, I will keep these. 100,000% also keeping my M Cosmetics Infinite Lip Cloud in the shade Faded Clementine. If you watched my 2019 uh, Best of Makeup video, this was in it. I absolutely adore this liquid lipstick formula. It's so comfortable and this shade is really unique and really pretty. I also really, really like the formula of the Healthy Lip Liquid Lipsticks from Physicians Formula. These, again, are super comfortable while also having a really decent wear time. My favorite shade of all is Bear With Me. I have repurchased this one, actually, because the one that I used to have got old, and I like it that much. It's a really, really pretty warm nude. So this one I'm definitely keeping. I also have the shade Red Storative Effects, which I think is really, really nice. It's a very like soft muted red, which I feel like is the perfect kind of red if you're gonna wear red lipstick to like work or something. And then I have the shade Berry Healthy, which this one I'm a little less crazy about because I don't really wear berry lips a whole, whole lot. I feel like this shade is reminding me of the one we kept from Flower. So I think this berry one I can declutter and I'm gonna keep red storative effects. I have two Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. I have the shade Strawberry Pop and Nude Mood. Both of these colors are absolutely stunning on the lips, but I'm not gonna lie, I don't love this formula. It's very dry in my opinion. And I keep these around because they are very long wearing and I do really, really like the colors. But like, if I had to recommend a formula, this probably wouldn't be the first one I would recommend, you know? So I'm gonna keep these because again, I really like the shades, but I think comfort wise, you can do better. Then I've got a whole bunch of these Carity Lip Lock Liquid Lipsticks. These are kind of getting old, at least several of them are definitely over a year old. And to be honest, this lip formula is like not my all time favorite. Like it's all right, but it's kind of dry. I think I'm just gonna declutter all of these guys. I mean, I feel like all of these shades I have elsewhere in other formulas that I like better. Like I don't know the last time I reached for one of these over one of my other liquid lipsticks. So yeah, I think I think it's just time to say goodbye to the carity ones. All right, we are breezing right along. So Pixie, I have five of the Pixie Matte Last Liquid Lipsticks. These are pretty nice. I think I like the Physician's Formula formula better than the formula of these, but these are not a bad liquid lipstick from the drugstore and they do a really nice pointed applicator. Again, do I need to keep every single one of these shades? Probably not. I like the orange red. I don't have too many of these, so I think I'm gonna keep that one. I feel like, ugh. Let me swatch these other ones because they look very similar and I'm not really sure which of these I actually like. Okay, so I swatched them right up here. So in order, I have On Naturel, 
Evening Rose, Matte Beige, and then Really Rose. And it's funny, looking at the other colors I have swatched on my hands, I feel like they're not super unique shades. Matte Beige is kind of similar to these ones that I decluttered. I think right off the bat that means I probably am not gonna rock matte beige a whole lot. Like I don't usually wear really pale cool toned nudes. I just don't think they look super flattering on me. So yeah, I don't know. I might keep mm, au naturel and I might keep really rose, which is the more pinky one because I just feel like it's a little more unique. I feel like evening rose is so similar again to soft berry that it's a little redundant in my collection. Then we've got two liquid lipsticks from Smashbox. I actually like this formula a lot. Uh, the shades I have are driver's seat and psychic medium. Psychic medium is kind of, it's one of those shades that I definitely don't wear very often. I kind of have to be in the mood for it because it's like a dark, dark, cool tone brown. It looks really cool when you wear it. So it's something I like hold on to for when I'm doing like an artistic look, when I'm like in the mood for it. But yeah, it's not, it's not a shade I rock on the daily. Driver's seat though is a really pretty, more kind of pinky color. So that one I do enjoy and wear sometimes. So I think I'm just gonna keep uh, both of these for now. I have one of these L'Oreal Infallible Le Macaron lipsticks in the shade Mademoiselle Mango. I wore this more in the summertime. This to me is like a summery shade. It's a fiery orange color. This is super, super long wearing. I'm not gonna lie, but it does kind of leave your lips feeling a little bit dried out. It's the kind of thing I wouldn't wear more than one day in a row because it will just like destroy your lips. But I think I will, I think I will hold on to it because I did enjoy wearing it over the summer. I probably would like to reach for it a few more times. Then this guy here is a Bite Beauty um, Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lipstick. And while I like this color a lot and I think it's very pretty, I always sort of felt like the downside to this formula is that it's messy. It's kind of like a, like a melted down bullet lipstick. It's very, very thick and very, very opaque and pigmented, but it doesn't dry down. So it kind of slip slides and it can, you know, easily smear outside your lip line. So I just didn't find myself reaching for it a ton. I had minis of this formula in like lighter nude shades and I found those to work a lot better, but yeah. It's not even a thing you can get anymore, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter this guy. Then I have this random mishmash of lipsticks. I have a Stila Stay All Day, a Ciate Glitter Flip, this Grande Lips Liquid Lipstick, and a pretty vulgar one. I don't wear any of these. Like, honestly, I think I'm gonna declutter all of them. I might keep the pretty vulgar one just because I've been saying I wanna do a full face of pretty vulgar and this is the only pretty vulgar lip product that I have, so I probably will keep this just for the purpose of maybe doing that video, but these other three, like, I know, I know I can part with. The Stila one, I just didn't like the way the shiny metallic finish looked on me. The glitter flip is really cool, but like, I just, I never wear glittery lip products like that. And this is a really nice red um, liquid lipstick, but again, like, I just don't wear red like this a whole lot, and I feel like I kept some reds that I know I really like the formula of, so yeah, I just, I think it's time. And then last but certainly not least, I have a few mini liquid lipsticks. This Ofra one I got as part of like a little holiday kit from Ofra, and I just don't love the shade, it's very purple. So this is something I think I'd like to pass along to somebody else. And then these are all nude shades of the Balm Meet Matte Hughes liquid lipsticks. I actually really like this formula a lot. It smells like a Thin Mint cookie. It's freaking delicious and it's pretty comfortable. So I think I'd like to keep all these little guys just because it's fun to have some different shades to play with and they don't take up a whole lot of space. Next, we're gonna move into my like lip crayons and lip liners. This is definitely the most underutilized part of my lip product collection. I don't know why I don't think to reach for these more, but I should because a lot of these are really nice products. So let's start with this good old pile of nude sticks here. So this shade Ripe is one of their original lip and cheek pencils and I just bought this last year. It was a repurchase actually because I went through one of these in the past. It's probably my favorite nude sticks lip product that they make. It's such a pretty peachy color and it looks really nice on both lips and cheeks. So this one 100% I'm keeping. I also love their gel color lip and cheek balm formula. I don't like these on the cheeks but on the lips, these are amazing. They're actually really, really long wearing for like a glossy 
lip pencil and they're super comfortable. So I have the shades Pulse and Haven, both of which are really pretty. Haven is like the most gorgeous nude, where Pulse is a little bit more cool toned. It's something I don't wear as much, but I do think it can look pretty. So I would like to keep these. And then these are all more matte lip colors, which I don't reach for nearly enough. I don't know, these two lighter ones, I feel like are shades I just don't think to reach for because I have colors similar to this and formulas I like better. So these I probably can get rid of. These two darker ones though, I feel like are a little bit more appealing to me because if I'm gonna wear like a dark red lip, I want it to be something budge proof. And like this shade Royal is absolutely stunning. And then Burgundy is a really cool kind of like dirty burgundy red. I think both of those shades are really quite nice. So I think I will hold on to these guys. Then I have this lip crayon from Bite Beauty. I think this was a birthday gift from last year, maybe, or the year before. Again, they discontinued this formula. I mean, it's really nice. This is a very pretty shade, but I think this is old. So I think I should just pitch this guy. And then I have two of these PB&J smoothie sticks from the Beauty Crop. I actually really like this formula a lot. These are super creamy jumbo crayons. I've got the shades. What are you even called? This one is missing its sticker. I think it's guava something, guava nice day. This one is saucy marsala, which is a really, really pretty kind of warm and nude. So since I really like this formula a lot, these are super like purse friendly, comfortable, easy to apply in the go type products. So I'm going to keep these. And then this guy here I bought last year. So this is relatively new to my collection. It's the Kaja Heart Melter Lip Gloss Stick in the shade Honey Bunny. I love the color of this. I think it's really, really gorgeous. I love the shine that it gives. The only thing that's annoying is the fact that the applicator is shaped like a heart, which is cute, but functionally a pain in the butt. Like if you have a Cupid's bow like I do and you're trying to, you know, draw a nice precise lip line, this is just not easy. Moving on to lip liners. I have three from Bite Beauty that again, are discontinued, but I actually really like this lip liner formula. It's kind of like a, you know, traditional wooden pencil, but it's really, really nice. And all of these shades are beautiful. This nice red orange one is perfect for my bright red orange lipsticks. It's the only lip liner I have in this shade. So I definitely want to keep this guy. And then these two nude ones, I mean, clearly they've gotten some love from me. Just watching them both, I feel like this little guy here is dried out. So I think this one I'm going to declutter, but this more nudie toned one still feels pretty creamy and I do like a good nude lip liner. So gonna keep this guy. I've got two of the Huda Beauty lip contour pencils. I have the shade Trophy Wife and Muse. Trophy Wife is actually new to my collection. My friend gave it to me because she got it in an Ipsy bag and she's like, I'm never gonna wear this. And I was like, I will take that because I really, really like my Muse pencil a lot. And they're very similar shades. Trophy Wife is just like a little bit deeper. So gonna gonna hold on to these guys. This is a lip liner I got in a BoxyCharm box. And I love the color of this, but the formula on this is like really, really dry and kind of scratchy. It's not the best. So honestly, I feel like I could find a better lip liner formula in a similar color. So I'm just gonna declutter this. I've got two lip liners here from Dose of Colors. I have the shade Floral and Ruffled. I wanted this formula to be a little bit creamier than it is. It's not bad. I just feel like I had really high expectations when I bought these, but the colors that I bought are really beautiful. And I do actually find myself reaching for these liners a fair amount because I do like the shades and they work well with a lot of lip products that I have. So these I'm going to keep. Then we have these guys here from Wander Beauty. These are their Duelist Lip Setter Lipstick and Liners. I have the shades Fuchsia Class and Bold in Beijing. Fuchsia Class, as the name would suggest, is a really pretty fuchsia. Bold in Beijing is more of a red. To be honest, I know Bold in Beijing is super old fuchsia class is newer to me so i think what i'm gonna do is probably declutter bold in beijing and keep fuchsia class because it is a nice lip formula it's basically a two-in-one where you get a lip liner and then you also get a coordinating lipstick 
And this fuchsia class one is really pretty and it's more of a like summery fun pink. So maybe I will wear this when the weather warms up a little bit. And then finally we got a little mishmash here of other things. This Maybelline lip liner is really, really old. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. This Little Rock lip liner is actually really, really nice. I think this formula is great, but again, this is really old, so I'm gonna pitch this. This Butter London lip liner, again, beautiful shade. Still feels pretty creamy though, so this one I think I might hold on to because I don't have something quite that berry toned. And then this liner from Pop is just very pink. I don't really wear bubblegummy pinks like this very often. I got this at Gen Beauty back in October. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna reach for that very much, so I'm just gonna declutter this. Next, we're moving on to my bullet lipsticks, which honestly, I feel like compared to previous years, looks very, very reasonable. I've really pared down my bullet lipstick collection. I used to have a lot more than this. So this I'm actually already pretty happy with, but I do know there are some things I'm not wearing that I'm just gonna get rid of. Like these Muru Muru Butter lipsticks from Physicians Formula, I would absolutely love these if they didn't have sunscreen in them. And I'm all about sunscreen, however, these just taste terrible to me. Like I can taste the sunscreen in them and it lingers for hours so they drive me nuts and then I don't wanna wear them. And it's a shame because the formula is super, super creamy super like just like beautiful and as the name would suggest like buttery looking on the lips and these colors like oh this one is brazilian nut and then i also have brazilian sunset and i love them both but i just know i'm never reaching for these because i just can't i can't get over the way they taste i also know i never use these alme um lip vibes lipsticks they're fine like there's nothing wrong with this formula it's perfectly decent for a drugstore lipstick. It's creamy, it's got decent pigmentation. I just, eh, was kind of bored by these. The shades are all right, like I like the orange, it's kind of fun, but this is almost like a little too orange for me, if anything, like it's like straight up orange, not like an orangey red. So I just don't find myself reaching for these a ton. So yeah, these I think I can declutter and uh, I, I won't miss them too much. These babies though, 100% keeping. These are my Becca Ultimate Lipstick Loves. I have three shades. I've got uh, Dune, Tawny, and Dusk. And this is one of my favorite lipstick formulas. I named it as like my favorite bullet lipstick discovery of 2019. It just is the most creamy, just glidey, beautiful lipstick formula. It just like melts like butter into your lips. It delivers really nice color saturation, but it's also not like too pigmented to the point of like looking thick or chalky on your lips. And the packaging is beautiful. It has that really satisfying like magnetic closure to it. Uh, I just love these so much. They're very, very luxurious lipsticks and I use them a ton. So these I'm gonna definitely keep. Also, my autofocus is driving me nuts. So apparently it doesn't like having other things in the frame. So we're just gonna move everything out of the way. The next I have my Bite Beauty Amuse-Bouche lipsticks. Now this formula just recently was discontinued, much to my dismay, because this is like one of my favorite lipstick formulas ever. These are so pigmented and so creamy and just, oh, they're gorgeous on the lips but now they don't make them anymore. So I'm gonna keep all of these since I know they are like the last of their kind and they're not very old. Some, like a couple of these I got when they went on clearance for like six bucks. So they're pretty new to my collection. But yeah, I am still really bummed that you can't get these anymore. Let me just swatch one of these for you guys so you can see. This is a shade Sweet Cream, which is one of my most worn shades in like the spring and summer. They just have a gorgeous like satiny finish, super opaque, they smell lemony, and delicious. It's just oh, such a good lipstick formula. Still not over the fact that these are no more. Then I have all of my ColourPop lipsticks. So three of these are like the original Lux lipstick formula and then one of them I just got. This guy here is brand new to my collection. Look at this. Huh? There's something like a fresh new lipstick, am I right? This is the shade Virgo Moon and it's one of their Blur Lux lipsticks. So I'm really excited to test this formula out because I haven't tried it yet. Also, fun fact, I am a Virgo Moon. And if you know me and you know anything about uh, astrology, 100% like the most accurate thing. I'm a Cancer Sun with a Virgo Moon and Aries Rising. It describes me to a T. And while I am tempted to keep these three other shades, 
I think I actually might declutter Uno Moss. This one is really pretty, but it's just like a very, very pale peachy nude. And I feel like I have some other colors that are very similar to this one. And this lipstick is getting like a little bit old. So I think I'm probably going to just declutter this. But Foolish and Get a Room are gorgeous, gorgeous shades. I love Foolish in the fall and winter. Because again, it's like pumpkin spice latte. It's that very nice like burnt fall orangey red and then get a room is my summer fiery orangey red shade that i love wearing so much then i have these two Too faced natural nude lipsticks i love the packaging on these i think they're absolutely beautiful these are very buttery smooth creamy lipsticks i do really enjoy this formula a lot however i feel like these are old like they may be kind of old for me to put on my mouth like these are the kind of things i might keep to like display on my vanity because they're really pretty and I like the lace detailing, but I don't think I really should keep these in my actual makeup collection anymore. Then I've got a couple of lipsticks here from Flesh Beauty. I actually do really like both of these. One is a more bold, intense formula, and of course I got it in a really fiery orange red shade that I do really, really like. <laughs> very similar to Get A Room from ColourPop, but very different price points. And then this one from Flesh Beauty is like one of the fleshy lips lipsticks, so it's a lot more sheer. Very, very smooth and comfortable. The only thing that sucks about this lipstick is that if you can see, it looks so beat up because it just like moves around inside the tube. It's so soft that it broke on me. So it's definitely not the most attractive lipstick in my collection, but I do like wearing this. So I think I will keep uh, these guys. Another wicked old lipstick that I honestly probably shouldn't put on my lips anymore is this one from YSL. I've had this for freaking ever. This is one of the Rouge Volupte de Shine lipsticks in the shade Pink in Paris. It still smells fine, like it smells like mangoes and it's really buttery and creamy. Although to be perfectly honest, I feel like this formula will dry your lips out even though it like goes on really moisturizing feeling. Like once the shine wears off, I feel like your lips are all crackly and gross. So it's not my favorite for how expensive it is, which is like $37. I wouldn't go out and buy one of these per se, but I'm never gonna actually throw this away because the packaging is stunning and I can display it and I spent $37 on it, so I might as well at least get my money's worth in that respect. What I probably would wear and what I would recommend that's like a basically identical kind of formula is this L'Oreal Color Riche uh, Shine lipstick. These two shades are not identical, but they are both pretty pink tones. And as you can see, the shine, the way the formula applies is like the same. L'Oreal owns YSL, so I feel like a lot of their products are very, very similar. So even though this is like old-ish, it's newer than the YSL lipstick, so I think I'll keep this around. I do like wearing it in the springtime. And then I've got a couple from Dose of Colors that I absolutely love and 100% I am keeping. I have my Lip It Up Satin lipstick in the shade Cinnamon Swirl, which is one of my favorite lipsticks ever. This is such a pretty everyday nude shade. And then Hey Girl, which was a Desi and Katie collab lipstick. Again, a gorgeous nude. I love this formula. It's kind of matte, but it's more of like a creamy matte, so it's not like stiff and weird and uncomfortable feeling on the lips. Love that a lot. So these I know I wear and use and I want to keep. Then we've got Flower Beauty Spiced Petal. This is a, another gorgeous pinky nude lipstick. And actually, this is a great dupe for Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury, which I can show you in a second because I actually have a little mini version of that exact lipstick right here. So let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison. Like, the consistency of the formulas are not the same. The Charlotte Tilbury is more matte and the flower is more creamy, but the tones, like the color themselves, very, very similar. And I am going to go ahead and keep both of them because I think both of them are beautiful. All right, I have this lipstick here from Note Cosmetics, which is a gorgeous color. I love this like really bright, vibrant pink, but this is like ancient. And honestly, I probably should just get rid of it. I'm sure I could find another similarly vibrant lipstick elsewhere in the next year if I want to repurchase the shade. And then I also have this Color Splash lipstick from Tarte. Again, another really fun kind of vibrant pink. This one I think is not quite as old, so maybe I'll let myself keep this guy. All right, and then just a few left. Let's like rapid fire this. 
This Wet n Wild lipstick, absolutely stunning. Such a pretty nude. Again, me with the like peachy pinky nudes. This one is only like two or three dollars. You can't beat the price. So I wanna keep that. Then I have this MAC lipstick. It's the only MAC lipstick I have left. This is one of their like powder kiss ones in the shade Devoted to Chili. Love the color. Not a super huge fan of this lipstick formula. It goes on really nice, but I feel like it dries your lips out, which is not the best. But uh, I like the shade enough that I'm, I'll keep it in. It's not like insanely old. The same thing goes for this Nabla lipstick. Again, really like the color. Don't love the formula. This one is like, super, super dry. It kind of feels like you're almost putting clay on your lips, but man, is it long wearing. So again, even though this is not like my favorite formula of life, this is a relatively new lipstick to my collection. It's less than a year old. I like the color. I'll put up with the dryness if I want to wear it. And then this guy here is from Kiko. Love, love, love this formula. I think it's super, super creamy and pigmented. This is one of their Ocean Feel lipsticks. This shade is a little bit more vibrant than I had wanted it to be, but this is nice to mix with other lipsticks if I wanna kinda of like lighten it up or make it a little more peachy. And then last but certainly not least, I have this little collection of Cake Pop lippies from Beauty Bakery. I bought a set uh, when it was on sale around the holidays. I had five of them and I already had cinnamon churro. So these are very new to me. I've been enjoying kind of like testing them out and playing with them. So these I'm also gonna keep. And then last but certainly not least, we have my lip glosses. I've become a little bit addicted to lip gloss in the last year, so I'm very attached to several of these, but we'll we'll try to pare it down a little bit. So I'll try to rapid fire through a few of these that I'm gonna definitely keep. The Nabla Shine Theory Gloss I think is gorgeous. I have the shade After Sex and uh, everything about this from the packaging to just the way this looks on your lips. It's super juicy. So stunning. The M Cosmetics True Gloss in Faded Clementine. Another one that I've been addicted to this winter. Super beautiful pigmented, pigmented gloss that's just like, oh, so comfortable and so lovely. Dose of Colors on Repeat. This one is like a staple in my collection. Again, a really beautiful pigmented gloss. All three of my Persona glosses are definitely staying because I really like this formula a lot. It's comfortable, it's moisturizing, it's not sticky, it has a little bit of glitter in it, but it's not gritty. They're just awesome, awesome glosses. Then I have a mini version of the Fenty uh, Gloss Bomb in the shade Fenty Glow. I mean, this one is a classic in any collection. It's basically almost like a clear gloss, but not really. It has like a slight nude tint to it that's just super flattering on basically literally everybody. This one here I just picked up recently from Ulta. This is the Laura Mercier Lip Glacé in the shade Nectar. It's a very pretty coral gloss, super, super plush, very, very comfortable, expensive as heck, but I got it with points, so. Yeah, this one is another keeper. The Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss. This one's really, really nice. It smells like freaking creme brulee. It's like absolutely delicious. Again, not sticky. Sheer, but gives you like a little bit of color. So this one's nice to wear all on its own or to layer it over like a lip liner or another lipstick. And then of course my trio of Pat McGrath little lip glosses here. These are stunning. This is such a nice uh, lip gloss formula. Again, very creamy has a nice pigment to it, not sticky, it's very plush and gel-like. So these I am like obsessed with, 100% gonna keep them. And then my last like must-have is this Wander Beauty Lip Retreat Lip Oil. This is in the shade Spa Day. I love this, oh my God, the shade is gorgeous. It's so comfortable. It makes your lips so juicy. It doesn't dry them out. It's just, ugh, everything about this is so good. As far as a few things I can get rid of though, I think I'm gonna part ways with this Huda Beauty Lip Strobe. I took this home from Gen Beauty and I'm just like never gonna wear this. It's very, very metallic and also very like pigmented a little bit gloopy. I'm just not a fan of metallic lips, so this is just something I, I just, I don't think I'm gonna use this. Also, I think it's just time to say goodbye to my Jouer Skinny Dip Lip Topper. This is really pretty. Like, we had a moment, but it's so 
old. Like, it's embarrassing how old this is. I really shouldn't be putting it on my mouth anymore, so I think it's just time I, I throw this away. I also need to just declutter this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Lipstick or Pie Shine. It's a lip gloss is basically what this is, even though they call it a lipstick. Color is gorgeous, but I just did not like the way this felt on my lips, and I didn't like the way that it smelled or tasted. Like, it was very plasticky to me, and sometimes when I applied it, it was very patchy, so I just... I, I, I don't enjoy this formula very much and I'm just gonna get rid of this. This Balm Jour Creamy Lip Stain is really nice. I like this color. I think it's a beautiful product, but this again is a little bit old and I just haven't been reaching for it for a while, so I think it's time that I just get, get rid of this guy. This Too Faced one is newer to my collection. This I got in a BoxyCharm. I actually have been surprisingly enjoying this gloss because it's quite sheer. Like, if it was as opaque as this bronzy gloss, I don't think I would be into it, but because it's a more sheer bronze with some glitter, it can look really pretty layered over the top of other lip products, and it's not like super sticky or anything, so I think I'll keep this. Then I have one of these Milani um, Keep It Full Lip Plumpers. This is in the shade Luminoso. I picked this up a while ago, and like, I haven't reached for it because I think I just kind of like forgot that I had it because I have so many other things, but I should use this. It's a really pretty um, lip gloss and it's kind of sheer in color, has a little bit of gold sparkle to it, but it's smooth and it's not too sticky and it's a nice drugstore option. So we'll, we'll keep this guy around. This gloss from Iconic London, like I wanted to like it because it was expensive and I got it in a boxy charm and like I wanted to feel like I was getting my money's worth but I just, eh, I don't love this. It's basically just like a clear gloss and the applicator is like, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's so flimsy. It's really difficult to apply the product to your lips. I'm not really a huge fan of the like super minty tingly kind of products. So I think I'm just gonna declutter this. These Lancome La Salut La Coeurs are really nice, they are kind of like a gel stain. They're very cushy feeling on the lips and they leave behind a really pretty stain of color. I do like both of these shades that I have. I think they're really pretty. I wear these a lot more in the summertime. The only thing again I don't like about these is that they smell like perfume. Like they're kind of gross smelling, but I really like the way that they look on the lips. So I think I will keep these for at least a little while longer. I've got two lip brulees from the Beauty Crop. I actually really like this formula. It's very creamy and pigmented. It's kind of like a lip gloss, but it has more of the texture of like a lip oil. It's not sticky at all. It's very thin. I don't need to keep both of these though. The shade I wear the most is Gumdrop, which is this one here. It's a really, really pretty kind of like bright berry pink really, really fun in the summertime with like a crisp wing. But this one, Peach Melba, is like very, very bright and a little chalky looking on me. So I think I probably will declutter Peach Melba, but I'm definitely gonna keep Gumdrop. And then these two lip products here, I both really like, they're very similar shades, but I honestly think I probably should just declutter both of them because I know that they're old. So first is this Hi-Fi Shine lip gloss from Urban Decay in the shade Beso. Really, really beautiful berry tone. And then this is one of the um, Bare Minerals Gen Nude Patent Lip Lacquers in the shade Pout. I got some mileage out of this. I love this lip color. I think it's stunning. Super, super creamy and opaque and just like a gorgeous shade. But again, I know this is probably like two years old and that's kind of that's kind of gross for a lip gloss. And then the very, very last thing I have is this Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. And this is in the shade Pumpkin Spice. Yes, Pumpkin Spice. I'm not crazy about this applicator just because I find it to be really messy, but I like the color of this a lot. It's kind of one of those minty, tingly, plumping glosses, but it's not too uncomfortable to wear. And I just, I love the shade of this so much. It's new. I got this this fall, so I'll, I'll hold on to this guy. All right, guys, so this is my newly decluttered complete lip product collection. It definitely is still a lot when you're looking at all of it side by side, but I'm very inspired by these products. I know I really, really like 
pretty much all of them, so I'm, I'm excited. I, I feel good about this collection. And then this is my declutter pile, which is the best declutter pile of this entire week so far. I feel so good about how much stuff I got rid of. I didn't separate out like declutter to give away and declutter to throw away. Most of this probably will get thrown away because most of it is old. If anything is new and I can disinfect it, then yeah, sure, I'll pass it along to a friend. I'll have to like go through these and really check everything. But uh, I just, I didn't have time to do that now. My battery is literally about to die. So this is my declutter pile and uh, I feel really good about it. All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the lip products in my collection. If you did, I hope you will consider giving this video a thumbs up. And if you missed the previous three videos in this series, I will have my entire declutter playlist for you guys in the description box of this video that has all of the declutter videos I've ever done here on my channel. And make sure you are subscribed if you don't want to miss out on tomorrow's epic finale where we go through all of my eyeshadow palettes. Mildly worried. It's not going to be fun for me. I mean, it's gonna be a little bit fun, but it's also gonna be hard. Anyway, we'll we'll see how that goes tomorrow when, when that video goes live. And in the meantime, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.